The Israeli Prime Minister publicly supports a two-state solution. But his current coalition is the most right-wing in Israeli history with an agenda driven by the most extreme elements. The result is that policies of this government, which the Prime Minister himself just described, as more committed to settlements than any in Israel's history, are leading in the opposite direction. They're leading towards one state. So the settler agenda is defining the future of Israel. And their stated purpose is clear. They believe in one state, greater Israel. In literally hundreds of conversations with Prime Minister Netanyahu, I have made clear that continued settlement activity would only increase pressure for an international response. We have all known for some time that the Palestinians were intent on moving forward in the UN with a settlements resolution. And I advised Prime Minister repeatedly that further settlement activity only invited UN action. Yet the settlement activity just increased, including advancing the unprecedented legislation to legalize settler outposts that the Prime Minister himself reportedly warned could expose Israel to action at the Security Council and even international prosecution before deciding to support it. President Obama and I know that the incoming administration has signaled that they may take a different path and even suggested breaking from the long-standing U.S. policies on settlements, Jerusalem, and the possibility of a two-state solution. That is for them to decide. That's how we work. But we cannot, in good conscience, do nothing and say nothing when we see the hope of peace slipping away.